welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome don't forget to subscribe um today's video i will be sharing what i eat in a day to lose weight i finally feel like i'm in a place where i can share a little bit of my process i'm finally seeing the results that i have been looking for for months it's taken me a really long time after i had my second baby and a lot of trial and error I'm not a nutritionist, nothing like that. I am just a mom on a fitness journey, trying to inspire and motivate other moms and women to do the same. And it's important to find what works for you and only you, everybody is different. Just wanted to put that disclaimer out right now. Look how long my hair is. Now, this is probably the first time you're seeing my hair like this. If you've seen any of my videos, I usually look like a hot mess. But I decided to give myself a little update. It's like, you know what? Let me do my hair. I haven't like done that for myself in a while. I am going to the gym today. I don't intend to sweat that much. <laughs> but I hope that my son allows me to actually work out. It's been like a month or so since I've been to the gym. I I only go once or twice a week, but lately my son has just like not been feeling the daycare. We gonna see how that goes, cause last time I had to leave. And I'm not trying to do that this time. All right, so I'm going to start my day and we are gonna go from there. All right, so we're gonna actually start off with some greens today. I ran out, and so I had this little packet handy. Um, this is from One Up Nutrition. It's vegan greens and reds. I've shared this in my previous video, and this is the flavor mixed berry. I wasn't really feeling the flavor I had before, so we're gonna try this out and see. And so I have a little trick since I don't have that little handheld stick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna use some warm water just so it can dissolve and mix easily. Oops. Stir it around. And I add cold water to it. This is a little better. I actually just put my daughter on the bus. My husband and my son are still sleeping. Child, it's almost eight o'clock. Yeah, they gotta get up soon. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit to eat breakfast because I like to, I like to eat breakfast no more than an hour before my workout. Especially if I'm doing legs, which I'm doing today. I like to make sure that I feel full, energized, and you know, my energy doesn't deplete at the gym. Get what I'm saying? I will be counting my calories and tracking my meals and kind of following the macros um, for today. I kind of am up and down with this, but I feel that I have better results when I am mindful of what I'm putting in my body and when I physically see it, when I physically see the numbers, <laughs> I feel like I do so much better and it kind of holds me accountable so I don't binge on Oreos like I did yesterday. Today, we're gonna do that. I am using my fitness pal to do that. Also, I will not be putting the calories or macros on the screen. I know some people struggle with tracking and counting calories and it may be triggering for some people as well. So I'm gonna put that in the description box down below for anybody who wants to see the breakdown of everything that I eat. My goal of calories is around 1700. I also prioritize high protein and meeting my calorie goals for the day. Those are pretty much the only things that I focus on. As far as macros, I focus on protein. That's just where I'm at in my journey. It takes some time to get to a place where you feel comfortable enough to know what exactly what to do and what you should track, if you should track. Okay, so I'm having breakfast now. And I made myself, it's a little messy, but I made myself basically my own version of bacon, egg, and cheese. If you're from New York, you know, bacon, egg, and cheeses are so bomb. But 
it's so much healthier if you just make it at home yourself. So I have two eggs, one egg white, one piece of turkey bacon, an English muffin, and some shredded cheese. I think it's like a mix of Monterey and cheddar, something like that. And, um, so good. We are on our way to the gym. You ready to go to the gym? Yeah. So I just got to the gym. My son is crying and acting up. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stay, so I'm gonna try to film it. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can and get a quick workout in before I have to go. <laughs> Wish me luck. You be making moves at you who really care what Simon say. All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back. You be looking fine, so no wonder they can't match that. Louis V scarf for I'm chilling with a dad. Whoa, slow it down like that. Just hold me down like that. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. So I just got back from the gym. Um, it was a good workout, but I had to like rush through it because my son gave us a hard time dropping him <laughs> off. And I was like, oh, I don't know how long this is gonna last. So I ended up like going really quickly through the leg workout. And then I only got to do about 10 minutes of cardio. And so I'm like, all right, I mean, it's better than the last time we tried to go to the gym. My mood was off. <laughs> but anyway, so we're back and I'm about to make my protein waffles. That is gonna be my post-workout snack meal whatever you want to call it so i'm going to show you guys how i do that so if you guys hear some noise in the background don't mind all that <laughs> come on <laughs> all right so i'm gonna start off with one fourth cup of pancake mix and then i'm using this protein powder and the flavor is chocolate, so I'm gonna take one scoop. And then add just like a dash of baking powder and just mix that all up. Add some water. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. You don't wanna put too much of this because you check out the calories for this. It's 120 calories for one tablespoon alone. So you definitely don't wanna put too much if you're trying to watch your calories. So like about half. That might have been a little over half a teaspoon. I'm gonna mix that up. So I have my little waffle maker here. How cute, got it from Target. I think it was like $10. Spray a little non-stick cooking spray. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something better. Now I'm 
Now normally I get the sugar free syrup, but this is all they had at the time when I bought syrup. 50 calories per serving. She got the posture of a superstar. And all my waffles came out a little crazy today, but they're still on point. This has been like my new obsession. Like with, what I try to do is not put myself on such a super strict diet because this is really not a diet, it's a lifestyle. I'm trying to do long term. I'm trying to be healthier, I'm trying to always pour into myself, work on me because I cannot be the best mom, the best wife, the best person I can be if I'm not constantly working on me. And that's something that my motherhood journey has taught me. Also my fitness journey as well. Like when you embark on these new journeys, and you wanna develop new habits and you go through life changes, you gotta lean into it and embrace the process because there's always something to learn in the process you're gonna grow during that process as well and so that's something that i have learned and i just feel like you know this fitness journey looks different for everybody first time i started when i had my first child looks very different from when i'm starting now after my second child and I thought because I went through it before, it was going to be easier for me than the first time. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Like, yes, I know it's hard work. It takes, it takes discipline, constantly having to push yourself. But I feel like it's just so much mentally that you go through, mentally that you have to change and every obstacle that you come across is not gonna be the same. And so this time around, I have to do things a little bit differently. And what I'm learning is that I don't wanna starve myself. I don't wanna eat salads all day. Like I wanna enjoy my life, but be healthier in the process. I wanna eat the things that I love and crave because I feel like that's sustainable. That's the only way to make it work, to make it last longer, is when you enjoy it. I mean, some people, if they need to be on a strict diet, that's on you. Go ahead, do you. But for me personally, I don't, I don't restrict myself so much. I'll give myself like maybe daily goals. Like I wanna reduce my junk food or it's really just like sugar i i love sweets sweets is my thing and when i'm stressed out that's what i go to if i want to like help control those urges i just give myself daily like okay today i'm not gonna have any sweets and see how i do and just take it one day at a time and that's really all you can do is so take it one day at a time continue to learn learn what works for you and your body and just do that so I cut up some chicken breast. I'm gonna have some jasmine rice with that. So I'm gonna season it lightly with some garlic salt. I already put some on. And then some onion powder. And the reason why I'm going light with the seasoning is because I'm gonna be adding a teriyaki sauce once it's finished. And so with teriyaki, even though this one doesn't have like high sodium, you don't wanna add too much salt. I'm gonna add some paprika. So that way when it cooks, it gets a little color. Everyone's lining up to see So now I'm gonna add in my teriyaki sauce. This is the one that I like to use from Target.
trying to say was I'm having a protein shake <laughs> and around this time of day it's a little hectic because I'm like you know my daughter has school tomorrow so I am preparing dinner for my kids and I'm gonna have half this apple I needed to have the protein shake because I don't have enough protein for the day. So I made myself a protein shake and then I'm gonna have half an apple. And then have dinner probably after I put the kids to bed or at least give them a bath. Like my goal is to always have at least 125, 130 grams of protein per day. It, I find it really hard and I know a lot of people struggle with getting in. Um, I hear a lot about how you should have about goal weight in grams that much protein. So like my goal weight is 150 pounds so I would have 150 grams of protein. I can't seem to get there but I'm trying. So at least 125 to 130 around that, I know I could sustain. So earlier today, off camera, I seasoned this chicken that I'm gonna have for dinner. I've been doing this lately, marinating it in a Ziploc bag, just because I really like the way it comes out. And it's a lemon herb marinade that I actually found somewhere on YouTube. <laughs> and it has lemon, minced garlic, Oregano, Italian seasoning, garlic, salt, paprika. Alina, go over there. Paprika, just a little bit. And I think that's it. Oh, and, and extra virgin olive oil. So I'm gonna throw that in the pan. And I'm gonna bake this. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. The chicken is out of the oven and look how good it looks. Nice and juicy. And my husband already ate dinner. He's putting the kids to bed now. Doing the nighttime routine mainly by myself for the past couple of weeks because his schedule has been crazy. And so today he had off and so that's why he's helping me out and I'm taking advantage. So I'm going to make me some potatoes at the air fryer and then I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm still in my gym clothes. I haven't taken a shower yet. And so I'm tired and that is all I'm eating for the day. I don't think I have any more room left for a snack. I'm going to catch up on some water because I'm slacking a little bit in the water department. And so, yeah. That's it. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really tried my best to, to let you guys see what I eat in a day to lose weight. And just remember, everyone's journey is different. Everyone's body is different. Do what works best for you. But I hope that you found this helpful in a way because we got to get out of that stigma. Like we need to be starving ourselves and eating salads all the time. 
if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up i would really really appreciate it that will help out my channel so so much and also comment down below if you would like to see more of these videos i would be happy to work on that and showing you guys more don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and as always i'll see you in the next video